everyone welcome to my channel if you are new here welcome if you are not new here welcome back my name is Lydia and this is bugs bookmarks there's a lot to unpack today um first of all I wanted to say I am so sorry about not uploading my stupid freaking book review I have it edited and finished on the wrong platform, if that makes sense. Um, so um, if you all don't know, I use now InShot um, to edit my videos. I used to use Kinemaster, I think it's called. Um, I don't use that anymore because um, it's a 40 minute long video and I was going to upload it to my YouTube channel. Um, but the video like won't upload to my photos which is really annoying so i had to take it over all the way over to a new editing platform system thing um and so i'm gonna re-edit it oh my goodness excuse me um so i have to re-edit that um and fix all that up so that should be great um, but yeah, it's not gonna be out for a while, but I did upload my new Newsies vlog. Um, I hope you all enjoyed that. And, um, thank you for everyone who was in on that journey. That was so much fun. I really liked that. Um, but that is not why you guys are here. That is not why you clicked on this video. Today, I'm going to be reading and reviewing kind of my favorite reads that I've ever read slash series of books that I've ever read. And I'm going to share them with you and share my honest review. Um, there's one book that I haven't finished yet. I'm on the verge of finishing it. I'm, there's like 30-something chapters. It's either 30-something or like 25. It's it's like close to 30 chapters. I'm on chapter 20. So, um, but yeah, let's get into it. So, the first book that I wanted to share with you guys is here. You know what? Let me... I have a light. It's very harsh. Let's see if I can. There, that's a lot better. Okay. Okay. Also, don't look at my bed. Shh. Pretend you didn't see that. My room is messy. Um, kind of. <laughs> okay. So the first book I wanted to share with you all is this book. It is called. Colonel Brandon's Diary. It's a novel by Amanda Grange. And um, it is about, it's based off of Jane Austen's Sense and Sensibility. And it's a really cute read. Last year, um, I don't know if you all know this, but last year I was in my high school's production of Sense and Sensibility. I was Mrs. Jennings. Um, but it just made me fall in love with the book. And I read the book. It was amazing. The play was also amazing. It was a lot easier to understand the book, if I'm being honest. But then I found this. Um, Amanda Grange is an author who does different books. Um, here, let's read the, the last one. Okay. Amanda Grange lives in Cheshire, England. She has published many novels, including Lord Deverill's Secret, Mr. Knightley's Diary, Captain Wentworth's Diary, Edmund Bertram's Diary, and um, Hare Stairs House. Um, so she does, she takes different books that she really enjoys. Um, a lot of it's Jane Austen. And she will take from kind of the one of the love interests like point of view and like write it as a diary. Um, she takes a lot of she takes some creative liberties because there's not a lot given in the book um in the original book but um yeah this is such a cute read if you want to see it's from colonel brandon's point of view it's his little diary and it's it's got um some of it is like like book like i'm not gonna show it to you but there's like some parts where it's read as a book and then there's other sections where it's like like this like little um diary entries um 
but yeah this is so this is the events of sense sensibility from colonel brandon's point of view and a little bit about his backstory and a little bit about like afterwards and stuff um and it's such an amazing such a cute read i would give this probably an 18 out of 20 um i don't want to give everything a 20 out of 20 uh, because i don't want to be like shallow i don't want it to be like oh like a bad review where i feel bad about giving everyone like not a 2020 um 20 out of 20 but this was an amazing book i actually read this and finished it um last summer my family went to the bluegrass palace in kentucky and um it was it was an amazing experience here you know what i'm gonna turn this camera yeah there we go it was an amazing experience um and they had like a giant foyer where you could read and they had a chandelier and i i i bought a dress on amazon i bought a, a regency style dress on amazon pinned up my hair brought this wore per it was the whole shebang it was such a great experience it was so much fun um but yeah i love this book and it was an amazing read 18 out of 20 19 out of 20, 20 out of 20 even no let's give this a 20 out of 20 honestly it was such a cute read and it was very helpful to understand there there were some spots i will say that um you have to like read the book the first book to understand it but i mean that's always a given when like a rewrite happens so this was an amazing book i would definitely recommend this book so that's the first one. So speaking of summer reads, I want to share with you this book. Uh, it's another fun summer read. Um, this is actually a series. I don't know where my other books are. I don't believe I have them all. I think I have like one or two and there's like one that I got as like a library book. I think I got the first one as a library book. Um, but this is the Forgive My Fins series by Tara Lynn Childs. It's such a cute story. It's about um, this mermaid princess who her mom dies and she goes to live on land with her aunt. And um, the first book is her like figuring out her love life and she like falls in love with this boy but it doesn't work out and she ends up it's like an enemies to lovers book which I really love. Um, Again, 10 out of 10 would recommend. This particular book is third, yeah, um, third in the series. Um, and it's like the end, and there's another, she's got a cousin who like, it's also kind of like her story a little bit. Oh, I forgot this was in here. I forgot I had a bookmark in here. A little magnet bookmark. Um, But yeah, she like, um, it's like a slow burn enemy. Well, it's not really slow burn. It's enemies to lovers, but they like get together in the first book, kind of. But it, like, it takes a long time in the first book. It's like the end of the first book. But you know they're gonna get together because it's a mermaid. It's a mermaid love story. Of course they're gonna get together. Um, but this is a really fun series. It was like the first series that I really got into as a kid that I really, really, really liked. Um, it's a very fun summer book. I would recommend if you want like a quick read that's just fun and easy to like sit by the pool. Um, she has some novellas, little like short, really short stories. I There was one day where I had to clean my room and I didn't have my phone because I wanted to still clean my room, but I have ADHD. And so I'll like clean for like a long time and then I'll sit, I'll need to take a break. And one of, and I had one of the novellas. It was, it's over here somewhere. Is about her friend, um, main character's friend, and her their little love story. And it took me like an hour to read because I was reading like, um, and it was it was such a cute story. So I would recommend this book. I would give it a eighteen out of twenty. There were some parts where um, it was like hard to understand, like the settings just changed a lot. Um, but it was an amazing book. It's so cute and I really, really would recommend it, um, to anyone who wants like a cute summer read. Um, it's a series, it's a three part series. I think this is the last book. 
like I said, she has two other novellas and she has another series called, hold on, um, Sweet Venom. It's the Sweet Venom series. Um, I haven't read it personally, but if it's as good as these, I would tell y'all to give it a try. I haven't read it personally, like I said, but um, it looks like it would be also a really fun read. So yeah, just go check her out on her website. It's called TaraLynnChilds.com. Very simple. I don't know why I spent a bunch of time looking for it. Um, but yeah, you can, she has also got like these teeny tiny little like tiny snippets on her website that you can read that are really cute as well. She's just, go check her out. Um, you can follow her on Instagram. I think she has an Instagram. I would go check out her website. Again, it's called TaraLynnChilds.com. It's just real simple. Um, but yeah, I would really recommend this book series. It's very cute. Very nice. I love it a lot. I would give it a, let's give it a 19 out of 20. Because while it was harder for me to understand, like some of the um, settings just snapped they flipped around a lot, but I mean, I also do skim. <laughs> um, when I get like bored or there's like not a lot of dialogue, I'll skip through the pages that don't have dialogue until like there's like a, a interesting break in the page, I suppose you could say. Um, but yeah, um, it was a really good read and I would definitely recommend it to anyone who wants like a cute summary read. So second book. <laughs> Okay, I have some choice words about this one. Nothing bad. I read this and I really, really enjoyed it. It was, I had put off reading this for a long time and I didn't really, I don't know. I just didn't want to read it because I knew a bunch of other people. I didn't want to be like just another one of the girls who reads like, I didn't want to be like every other person it felt like that was just my personal experience um then I did read it because I got into um the Five Nights at Freddy's movie and I really liked the actor for the main character and then I realized he was a character he was PETA from Hunger Games as well and so I got into a Hunger Games phase um it was very short-lived I got hyper fixated on something else after that um Oh, my jaw um but it was it was a very good book I will say um I will give it a 17 out of 20 um Suzanne Collins is a great author her world bu world building is good but if I'm being totally honest there's just like some parts that didn't make sense to me and grammatically felt a little weird. I feel like there was like two or three grammatical errors that I found within like the first half of the book. Um, I didn't end up reading the other two. So I will recommend this book, but I don't know if I can recommend the other two because I hated the second book. I tried reading it, but they I just feel like she just gave us such good romance with them in the beginning and then the second book it felt like she just broke it off like that and it was like I get it it was also like kind of being played up but also it's your first kiss girly pop like <coughs> and he's talked about how much he likes you so it's like it just didn't I didn't like it didn't go well with me. Um, I will say though, this is a really good read. Um, if you haven't read it, you got to read it at least once, at least the first book. If you really like it, um, you can read the second, I don't, I'm not your mom. It's not like I'm making you guys read this, but I would at least re read this book, um, at least once in your lifetime. It's, it's, it's a really good book. Um, I would uh, read it at least like once in your life please. Um, yeah, it was, there was some spots where like the world building was a little weaker, it felt like. And I'm not an author. I mean, I'm writing, but I'm not an author. Um, I'm not like a public, I'm not an expert. 
Um, but it just felt as a reader, um, and I, I also got this impression from a couple of my other friends who've read this, there was just some like world building that was like a little weak in some areas. Um, but yeah, it was a really good book. 17 out of 20. It was good. But there were some parts where I was like, eh, it didn't change my life like I thought it would. It's not like it was like reading Harry Potter for the first time. It was good, but there were some spots where I was like, eh, but yeah. Good read. 17 out of 20. Would recommend to anyone. Um, yeah, it's a great book. This little booger has been on my shelf since day one. This was the book that I, if you're new to this channel, you know what, let me just, okay, hold on. My camera is like, one moment, please. Okay. I had to change my camera settings, um, put it somewhere else. But anyway, this little guy has been on my shelf since day one. I think this was like the first book I ever read as a kid. Um, so it, it, it gave like the most intense, like first impression. Um, it's a very heavy book. I will say it was, it's really old. It was, it was published, I think in like the 68, 1968. Um, it was, a really good book though. It's about two kids who find this guy and um, he's older and they just go on kind of like a maturing journey and he passes away in the end so trigger warning. Um, but it's like the book's main purpose is to teach you that you will always have a pigment in your life. There will always be someone in your life that can come into your life teach you a really valuable lesson and then can leave dramatically and it's it was a really great book um because it was my first book and it gave me such a deep first impression I will say this was a 20 out of 20 um it's kind of deep and it's a little heartbreaking I will say so if you don't like heavy books and you want a light read I wouldn't recommend this to you but if you are looking for more of a heavy read, something that can like, is gut wrenching a little bit, um, I would recommend this to you. So yeah, that was a 20 out of 20 book. I really would recommend it to anyone looking for a heavy read, but I will always rave about The Pigman. It's called The Pigman by Paul Zindel. Amazing book, amazing book you guys. <laughs> so this book was actually recommended to me by my German teacher. So um, I think it was like last year, we had a um, it was like, what was it this summer? We good camera? Okay. It was the summer going into my sophomore year. Um, I had to read a book of my choosing um, during summer reading and then write a, like a book talk about it. It was like a small book review. Um, and I got this book and it's called Stiff, The Curious Lives of Human Cadavers by Mary Roach. And oh my gosh, this book is so intense. Um, there, it's, it's what got me into my love for mortuary science. If you don't know me, I'm going into mortuary science after high school. I'm going to CCMS, hopefully. Um, but this book, this book kind of sparked my love for, um, mortuary science and, um, just an anatomy science in general. Um, but this book, it's my own. And yes, it's been water logged, but it's an amazing book. I will not recommend this to anyone who does not like guts, who doesn't like mortuary science, who doesn't like 
dead bodies. It talks a lot about dead bodies. And like, it talks about students from a, like, um, a student's experience with mortuary science. There's like a section on that. And then it just talks about some like goofy, curious things, the curious lives of human cadavers. And it talks about the body farm, talks about the stages of decomposition. So trigger warning for that. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a really cool book. If you like anatomy science, um, anatomy, physiology, mortuary science, if that's something you're into, I would definitely recommend this book. This is literally what got me into, um, my love for like mortuary science and like I went so my school had like a, a career week or at least for me we had like it was like a a week where we could like go out and like do learning opportunities and I got put in the career class and I got to go shadow um a morgue on Tuesday I was supposed to do it on Thursday but there was sickness going around so I couldn't go but on it was like so interesting and I got to see um and it was just I could see two actually um but it was really interesting so I would definitely recommend this book to anyone who likes mortuary science very fun save the last for last the best I saved the best for last. That's what I was trying to say. This book is the book that I haven't finished. I'm on chapter, let's see, which chapter am I on? 20, exactly. Yes. This is called The Cruel Prince. It's by Holly Black. And it's, I'm going to sit it there. Can you all see it? No. Okay. It's fine. Um, but it's a really good book. I really enjoy it so far there's it's like slow burn romance like I hate you I hate you too I actually really have a crush on you but like it's a really good book um uh I forgot to review or rank the last book I'll put all my rankings in a little slide at the end just so you guys can have that um but oh my goodness um but this is a really good book. I've heard there's some like, not, it's not inappropriate, but there's like some, like, there's like a couple kisses, but they're not like, I don't think inappropriate. Um, and they get like far along in the series. So I think if I really like this, I make it like the second book. I will probably finish the series, but I will stop if there's anything inappropriate. Um, I would, if you are following my channel and you want, the reason you want to get this, get a book is because of my channel. I doubt it because I have like two subscribers, but if you do want to get this book and are interested, I'm going to review it once I'm finished. Um, I'm like, got like 10 or 15 chapters left. Um, I would wait until I'm finished with this book. Um, or with, like, I would read it along with me, um, or just do a bunch of research. Um, but yeah, it's a really, it's a good book. I like it. And it's actually really similar to the book that I'm writing. Ugh. I didn't even know about this book until like a couple of months ago. And then I read it this week and I was like, dang. A lot of this is like a very similar trope because I'm writing a book right now if you didn't know it's on booksy link in my Instagram um, Instagram in my descriptions um, but it's got um, like a pair of sisters well it's three sisters and mine's two but some sisters get taken to a magical realm and there's like a mean prince and then the main character and the mean prince fall in love and it's like um which is really similar they're like the same not really but um mine's kind of similar but um yeah I actually really am surprised how much I really really like this book I was hooked on page one 
hooked hooked it's a really good read i would recommend it but i would probably because i haven't finished it i would wait to get the book because i'm going to review this um if you want to get this book and you're seeing this video, um, I would wait to get this book until I'm finished because I don't want people reading weird things and then being like, oh, she recommended it to me. And I'm like, I didn't. I told you to wait. But um, it's a really good book. I like the romance. Um, there's not a lot where it's like bombarding you and taking away the story. The story is really good, too. Um, it's a really good fantasy book. I, I like it a lot. Um, I would say so far there's like some like overused tropes so I would give it like a 19.5 out of 20 but that's pretty pretty high so it's a, it's a good book um but yeah I would recommend that book thank you so much for watching this I will put scooch over these are the ratings um for each book but um yeah, I, I enjoyed these books. Um, I'm going to get a couple more books and I'm going to push out that video that I'm making. I just have to, uh, I might re-record and then just edit it on the different platform or I may just take the original videos and, excuse me, and edit it on that um, editing platform. But that is the video and I hope you guys enjoyed. I really liked these books and I would definitely recommend them to anyone wanting um some reads that they enjoy to add their, to their shelf if they haven't already. Um, I am open to suggestions. I have a TB, TB, TBR list. That was hard to speak. Um, on in, uh, in, oh my god. Start over. I have a TBR list on Amazon. Um, and I'm adding books. Um, some people have asked me to um, read some books and review them. I haven't forgotten about you. I have the books. Um, I'm going to ask for a couple for my birthday. And just if I get like Amazon gift cards, I'll buy them. But um, yeah, I haven't forgotten about you. Um, and I want to uh, read those books. Um, I'm trying to see if I can find some alternatives on like Libby or like the library apps that you can do like audible and stuff like that um but yeah so that's where I am right now with my books um these are like my top six books that I have that I really really enjoy um again I'm not done with cool prints I will report back with a review once I've finished reading that so yeah thank you so much for watching I hope you have a blessed day